Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about CSS image opacity or, trans or transparency. Transparency, well, in CSS1 and CSS2, transparency is being used, but why in CSS3 the, the, then we use opacity to replace transparency? I want you to know something. There's some browsers that do not support the opacity in CSS3. Browsers like um, I, I, like Internet Explorer, Hit and Below. So you need to specify, you need to use filter for them. Anyway, transparency means like fl like flickering an object or flickering an image. But basically, we're talking about an image. Now let's go. To, let's come to our. This is our HTML page. Under this is our HTML page, I created div. A div called like div one, and then create another div inside this. All right. Then I close my div. The two div there. But I won't be dealing with this yet. Just let's upload an image first on our web page. How do you upload image? I hope you, if you don't know, they're going to check my tutorial on how to upload image. Okay, so I'll be our I think I have an image here called um, com.jpg. Okay. Okay, this is the image. Com. So this is one image. Now, on the good day you can specify the styles there but i won't be doing that i will come under my css to do all that but it is more advantageous to do it that way if it's an english word for that anyway well it's under image this is what we do first let's say the width let's say the width to be be 240 to be 240 pixel the height to be 320 pixel these are uh, image not covering the whole browser okay okay so let's change this to be 320 and this to be 240 all right okay this is better so this is what we do here yeah, we're going to set on that air i think we set the opacity for this that is transparent transparency the degree of transparency that we want we set the opacity to be opacity range from from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 so opacity range from range from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 but if you want to specify for ia for Internet Explorer, you is started from one percent to one hundred percent. So, yeah, the lower the opacity, the more transparent it will be. Why the higher the opacity, the more visible it will be. So let's let's set a uh, transparency of um, zero point one for the opacity. Okay, let's reload. On. Let's reload and see what will happen. Okay, so it is we are almost not seeing anything at all. This is because it's so transparent and the opacity is so low. Because I tell you, remember, I told you, opacity range from 0 0.0 to 0 0.1. The lower the opacity, the more transparency it will be. So let's increase it to 2. And um, it won't make certainly a difference. So it's come to like a little by 3. Okay, coming alive little by little. So I like to put these in. Okay, average. Okay, this is better. Okay, so that's transparency. That's how transparent it will be. Then, if you don't use that, you can use 1.0. Okay, so back to our normal. Back to normal. But I'll be doing that because I want to over the page. So let's put 0.6 here. Let's do this. And see how it is now what I want to do is I want to show you how we can do this again and to make it more bold and more not a more transparent by overing the image so this is what we do we put our over sign then we create something here then we put opacity what we want opposite to be here is um let's put 0 0.9 let's put 0 0.9 Okay, let's reload. Okay, this is our opacity. This is transparency. But once once the mouse over it, it changed to 0 
You can change the console to the pointer if you like. You can change it to the point pointer if you don't really like. So let's reload. Okay. See. So it comes alive. And once you move the mouse over it, it comes alive. Once you move it away, then it becomes transparent. So that is that about CSS the image opacity. Anyway, let's do another thing. You can insert your you can insert text inside background and insert another image. How can we do that? Let me show how we can easily do that. Very easy. Save. Let's reload. Let's remove this. Okay, no need, no need. Let's just put it this way. No need. Okay. Let's this be. Alright. So this is what we do now. Now back to our HTML file. Look at this. We'll be dealing with this Dave, dealing with Dave one and dealing with Dave two. We set background for this Dave one to serve as the container. Let's copy this. We serve as the container for the for the whole Dave. Oops. That we serve as a container. Then we set we set our background image. Set background. Then let's use the same image. Background. Then use this. Um, let's put um com dot jpeg okay let's see okay we've set background image for this but it won't be large because of because of whatever <laughs> all right so let's set one thing we do again is we set our background for this day two and make that to be larger okay this is day two Okay, what we do now is there's a background color to be to be white. Okay, let's add padding to the so let's add border. Let's add border to be solid one piece. Let's add border to be solid two piece. Two piece. No, no, two piece. Solid, solid red. Okay, to make it obvious to the eyes. Okay, let's see. All right, now let's set a padding. Padding of um, empty freezer. Set margin. Margin of um, thirty freezer. Let's remove. Okay, this is covering almost the whole page, so let's just remove the okay, let's add the width. Okay, let's add the width to be 30%. So that's the width. Um, what else can we do with all this? Let's say the let's say if the art is going to work for this. Let's say the height will be twenty percent. Okay. So that means that does not work. So let's simply increase this to be fifty. Okay. See our image is coming alive little by little. Alright, what else can we do here? Give me a minute, please. Okay. Mm, let's set let's a background for this. Let's set a background to be no, let's have a border. Let's a border for this. Let's have a border to be solid. One two piece solid. Block. Okay. Okay. So let's shift this down. Margin button. Okay. 
I just remove this one. Okay. Oh, it's yes. Maybe down. Same this is not working. Anyway, let's continue with what we are doing. So, this is coming alive little by little. Let's remove this one to, to show you what we are doing clearly. Let's remove this one. Let's come here. Okay, don't worry. So, these are our images coming alive little by little. Um, let's increase the padding to the 50. Okay, I think this is better. Better, better. Okay, set the wideness to be 40%. Okay. Let's increase the margin a little bit. The HP zone. Okay. I think this is better. Now, this is what we want to do. We are setting another background for this. Now, let's set the opacity for this. And we hold for it as well. So this is we displaying text inside on that background, inside on that image. This one is serving as a container. This is serving, this is serving as a child, and this is text we display. Now this is what we want to do now. We come under here. We set the opacity to be let the opacity to be transparent. Let's say to be 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Okay. Reload. Okay, so it is transparent now. Now this is what we do. We want it to make it come alive. Whenever we hover it, then we come back here. I'll apply the method we did in the first place, which is um let's put over over here over here. And then we put um put opacity. We put um when we hover it, let's it come alive. Okay. So let's put one that's the highest okay so let's do it when you come over it it comes alive see so that is that about how to use image opacity well there's something else you can do you can change the text you can make it bold or you can change the font whatever you like about this to do that you simply come order the day create it on that day A one paragraph, okay. Then what do we do? Font size. Let's say font size to be bold. So then, what else can we do about this? Yeah, let's change the color of the text to be black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it this way. Let's put for the preserver. And let's change the font, font size. Okay, font size, sorry. Font. Let's change the font width to be bold. Okay. And this will do the magic. This is really not working. Oh, sorry. This is day two. Alright. Okay, sorry. I think this is working now. So we can equally change the font size and do whatever I want to do with it. Let's remove this. Let's turn this to be 20. Okay, I think this is good. So that is that about image opacity. Oh, I would like to talk about image sprite. Image sprite is, is used for okay, navigation, you know, like uh, you want when you want to move forward, like you want to move forward, backward, or go back. Then you want to go back to your home page. You know, can you use image to represent this, which is called image sprite. Yeah, I'd love, love to do this, but I don't really have. I'll be making that tutorial in the next Uh huh. Don't worry, I will make that tutorial later. So that is about image. Now in this area, you've known you know how to you've known how to how to upload image to your web page, how to reduce the size of the image, 
how to set the opacity and how to set the over to make it come alive and do all sort of things so thank you for watching my tutorial i will see you in the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe thank you